October, you have to treat your farm like a glass house. You make one or two mistakes, and that might be it. My approach to hunting October is very simple. It's a, it's a strategy that I follow. I hunt the first day of the high pressure where it crosses 30.1, and I only hunt evenings until the full moon. Okay, so that five days prior to the full moon is the most powerful time of the month to get a big deer on his feet in daylight. It's even more powerful when it happened in the end of October. So after that full moon, I'll start in the mornings, unless the full moon is in the very beginning of October, then I'll, I'll, I'll wait out October. The day of the full moon, make sure you still hunt that day. I don't know what it is, but you don't see a lot of deer and you see late movement, but I've seen some monsters randomly on the full moon the day of in October and had friends see them too. Just to kind of clarify what deer are doing, obviously the first week here in, in Illinois, you still get some of that like uh, summer feeding pattern type stuff. But every day, they're, they're, it's a buildup of testosterone from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. They're in a territory marking phase. So the, a lot of people get confused with the cruising, I think. There's two types of cruising. There's a territory cruise, which happens in October, and then there's a, a, a doe-seeking cruise that happens in November. And then you might get a little bit of crossover, but in general, right up until Halloween, it's more of a territory marking cruise. I am not a believer in the whole mid-October lull. If you look back at your trail cams over the years, you'll see random days in the middle of October with giants on their feet hitting scrapes and it's usually a high pressure. It'll be bluebird in the background. And then kind of that happens and it ramps up. And I, I, I have a little phase I think happens. I call it the boomerang phase. And it's like very precise. It's like October 27th, definitely the 28th, 29th. And that's when all these bucks, they have their kind of their cores that they're, they're working. And then all of a sudden on that 28th, it just seems like they boomerang and they they overlap and they'll hit each other's scrapes those big mature deer that's a lot of times when when people start seeing those surprised deer they're not really surprised deer they were really close like it's just all of a sudden they just move that a little bit more just enough to hit your camera so many people i hear go i got deer but he's on he's nocturnal when you're getting a picture of a big deer that's half the battle pay attention to everything in that picture at night where did he enter the food plot? You know, where did he come from? All that little stuff, that's what he's gonna, when, when he comes to that plot in daylight in October, he's gonna come in probably in the same spot he came in at night. So make notes of that so that you're in the right tree, the right side of the plot, whatever, when he does come in. Pay attention to all that night stuff and then hunt those high pressure fronts because they'll do what they're doing at night and they'll, they'll do it on those high pressure days in October.